Well, that was the Boyne River Bar. It was uh, a lot more docile coming out than it was going in, but it's a very shallow entrance. Uh, we're a couple of hours off high tide now, and we got down to 1.7 uh, on the bar in a couple of places there. So you really only want to uh, attempt that bar at high tide, uh, the last bit of the run in, I'd reckon, and you don't want to draw too much. And if you do that, be very careful when you uh, get into the river because there's some really uh, shallow reef that exposes, you'll see it at low tide. Uh, so make sure you keep to the marks and don't end up on that reef in the mouth of the river. But apart from that, great anchorage. We had a good time there and um, close to the, the uh, Woolies. So it was a good spot to go in and resupply and nice and calm when you get in, great spot. But um, yeah, be a little bit careful when you're navigating in there. We're going to head up towards Gladstone now and uh, through the port and then maybe up to Graham Creek. We'll just see what happens. A little bit ordinary out here, a bit of leftover slop from yesterday, but it'll be better once we get up um, under Curtis Island. This is just one of the industries in Gladstone. Um, that's the bauxite terminal, so uh, they're unloading bauxite off the ship and the plant behind me is refining it into aluminium, so that's one of the big industries, the smelter uh, here at Gladstone. And of course a lot of coal around, so uh, the coal fires the power stations that provide the power for uh, smelting the, uh, the bauxite. Gladstone's a pretty busy port and uh, you want to keep a good lookout, especially behind you, make sure there's no ships uh, coming up on you too quickly. So pretty quiet this morning, um, but I'm still having a bit of a walk around and making sure there's nothing creeping up on it. Well, this is all of our coal going overseas. There's a lot of debate at the moment on whether we should be doing it, but it's a huge industry. Imagine the amount of people that are employed uh, just in getting the coal to the facility here and uh, onto the ships. I don't know, I'm not gonna get into the debate, but um, there'll be a lot of jobs at stake if you shut it down, that's for sure. This will do us, we're just outside Graham Creek, we're in about uh, five metres of water and uh, there's a bit of a beach there, we can get pip ashore, so that's all good. So I'll just anchor up here and uh, wait for the tide now, I haven't put too much uh, scope out because we'll be on the boat anyway and uh, I'll have to get it up again this afternoon. Anyway, I should have a pretty pleasant day here, just waiting for this tide to run out and then run back in again. Well, we just arrived in uh, Graham Creek, anchored up. We're just outside Graham Creek. First thing I noticed, there's a few sand flies around already, so we'll put some screens up. That should give us some protection. 
They're always atrocious around here. Now we can sit down and relax for the rest of the day. VMR Gladstone, VMR Gladstone, VMR Gladstone. This is Peggy Ann, Peggy Ann. 82, do you read? Peggy Ann, Peggy Ann, this is VMR Gladstone. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, Gladstone, uh, we're anchored up just outside uh, Graham Creek. Uh, so we'll be here till this afternoon and we'll give you a call before we head up through the Narrows. Over. Yeah, that, um, uh, Peggy Ann or Peggy Ann? Uh, just that on a look. Thanks, Gladstone. We'll see you next time. Well, I've done my good deed for the day, released the crab from a pot that's obviously just been neglected. So, uh, he would have probably starved in there, so we'll get him out. We'll put this pot up somewhere where it doesn't trap any more unsuspecting animals. Well, we've just been for a walk on the beach. Um, we're waiting for the tide at the moment. We've probably got another couple of hours at least, maybe three, before we can make it through uh, the shallow part in the narrow is called the cattle crossing so we just got to bide our time here so we're just going for a walk up the beach we'll go back to the boat i'll probably feed the dog have a shower and then uh, we'll start heading up towards the cattle crossing we do spend a little bit of time uh, waiting for the tide and the weather in this game but all good fun Well, we've left Graham Creek. Uh, we're just heading up towards the cattle crossing now. I'm not sure if I'm a little bit early. I think it'll be pretty right. Um, I've got a depth I've got to get off Black Swan Island, and if we've got that, I know I can get through uh, the Narrows okay. Uh, looks like there's a storm coming in, so that's just what we need. So I've battened everything down. I've um, tilted the dinghy up so it'll self-drain, and uh, we're ready to cop that if we have to as well. But um, hopefully we'll get up there and maybe get over the shallow bit before it gets too dark anyway. But we'll just see how we go. Having enough tide is the main thing. This is uh, Black Swan Marker. And as long as I've got 5.5 uh, metres in this position, I know I've got enough uh, water to get through the narrows. So I'm just going to check the uh, depth sounder. Yeah, we've got 5.7, so we should have enough water to get through. So I just have to be careful of the navigation and uh, we should be able to slip through OK. So this is the shallow bit coming up.
Well, we're through the shallowest bit, but uh, we're pushing a bit of tide now because we've got here a bit early, so uh, we're pushing probably about two knots of tide, and I think I might just get up a bit further, anchor up, have some dinner, and then use the tide to run out the other side. Well, we did that just about right. Uh, we got down to about 1.4, I think, was the shallow depth. We uh, got to getting through, so that gives us a bit of clearance under our props. And uh, we've just got through into the deeper section, and I've anchored up in six, uh, six and a half metres of water. And we'll stay here the night, I think, and uh, wait for the tide to be running out tomorrow instead of pushing it. Pouring now, so a um, fair bit of rain coming uh, for tonight. I might even have to get the water catchers out and see if I can catch a bit. But anyway, cook a bit of tea and off to bed. Listen to the rain on the roof. Beautiful. Well, what a wild night. Had everything, lightning, thunder, wind, um, lots of rain. Uh, it was pretty full on, but uh, we hung on all right and had as pleasant a night as you can when you're worried about dragging and uh, everything else. But uh, it was good to be tucked up in bed, that's for sure. Uh, this morning, first mission is to just find a beach for Pip to go on because she's been hanging on uh, all night. So. Um, We'll go up to Sea Hill and see if we can find a bit of beach and uh, I'll take her ashore. That'll be the first thing to do. It's starting to rain again. After a wild night in the Narrows, the wind's gone now. Uh, the sea's quite flat, and we've plotted a course in for Great Keppel Island. So, about three hour run from uh, Sea Hill up to GKI. When you're staying at GKI, you do what's called the GKI shuffle. So, you move from one side of the island to the other as the wind changes. And I'm sort of hoping the forecast is for northerlies for a fair few days uh, once I get there. So we're going to go to Long Beach, which is on the south side of the island, getting the lee of that. And uh, hopefully the northerly kicks in and stays there for a little while and we don't have to move around too much. But anyway, it's just the nature of the beast, I guess. I really do love this lifestyle. You've probably noticed that from the videos. But uh, this is very calming to me. I worked pretty hard last night uh, with the storm going through. We probably had 35 to 40 knots of wind, lightning, thunder, lots of rain. And uh, I had a few things on the plate. So you're checking all the time, make sure you're not dragging anchor. I had a, an anchor alarm set, um, but it was nice to be tucked up in bed with the storm raging around you. Um, I love my Sarka anchor. Once you get that thing set, it really seems to hang on as long as you put enough scope out. And I had plenty out last night. Um, but yeah, look, it's just a great lifestyle. I love it. It's just so relaxing doing this. About a uh, hundred times more relaxing than getting in the car and driving anywhere because um, doing a car trip, I do a few car trips down to Victoria to see the kids. 
you've got cars going past you all the time, there's accidents waiting to happen, and I think I need a couple of days just to relax after driving down to Melbourne, because it's, um, it's a little bit dangerous on the roads. But out here it all happens pretty slowly, and as long as you've got a few clues, uh, it's quite safe. Anyhow, we'll keep on uh, motoring along. I just saw it's going to get the sail out a minute ago, but um, the wind's dropped out now. So as soon as I got the uh, the rope out to unfurl the sail, the wind died. So I'm not going to pull it out if we don't have enough wind to uh, fill it. But um, we'll see how we go. If the wind comes back a little bit, we'll get the sail out and maybe do a bit better. But we should be at uh, Great Keppel Island by uh, about 11.30, 12 o'clock. So pleasant little trip. You've got to enjoy this um, motor sailing for old dudes. Well, uh, we had a good little daytime stay at Humpy. Um, it was really nice over there with that bit of Southeaster coming in. There was a bit of swell here when I got here, but uh, over there it was good on the beach, so we went and had a look at the beach. I've had some lunch, I dove on the boat, just had a look at the anodes, they're all good actually, and the bottom of the boat, and she's pretty clean, so um, I've done a few jobs, but now we're just gonna head over to Long Beach, and uh, it's only probably half a nautical mile, uh, and this is gonna be better in the forecast northerly, so we'll skip over there and um, set up for tonight, and maybe the next few days, I hope, as long as it stays out of the north. Well, we're anchored off uh, Great Keppel Island, Long Beach. Uh, there's a northerly blowing and up to 35 knots at the moment, so a uh, fair bit of wind. It's very pretty with all the anchor lights on and there's been quite a few boats dragged this afternoon. We were one of them. Uh, I've moved in a bit closer to the beach, a bit shallower water and let out a lot more anchor chain, so I think uh, we should be pretty right with the amount of chain I've got out. Uh, It'll be a sleepless night, no doubt. Um, I'll set an anchor watch, an anchor alarm. Um, I've got a, an app on my phone that I use, and uh, I'll set that with a radius so that if we drift out of that radius, it'll alarm me, wake me up. But um, yeah, when the weather's like this, you don't tend to sleep very well, and they are forecasting uh, there may be some thunderstorms around later tonight, so that'd make it interesting as well. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. It's uh, all part of the joy of boating. Anyway, I think I'm just going to go inside now and make a cup of tea. 